Hey guys, this is Bobo662 and I'm here to demonstrate how to combine your SCS files into a merge file. And what you want to do is open up your ETS2 Studio. And when you have your ETS2 Studio open, here you will see a mod merge tool on this menu. What you want to do is click on that. Another page will open up. And here at the very top left hand corner, you will in the mod merge tool, you will see a tab that reads add mod file. What you want to do is click on that, which brings you into your mod file folder. So in this mod file folder for this demonstration, I have two files. The 711 cool liner trailer skin and the Estes Freight cool liner trailer skin. So what you want to do is click on those two files, go to the bottom right hand corner, you'll see open, click on open, brings you back into the mod merge tool menu. What you want to do to go to the very top where it says merge mod files, click on that and as you click on that the bottom left corner it will say merging files please wait. After it's completed merging the two files or the files that you want to combine it will bring you back into your mod file folder and what you want to do is give that merge files a new name give it any name that you want I'm gonna call this one B62 uh, trailer skin cool liner version 1.18 after I complete naming the trailer or the combined file what I want to do is go down here to the bottom right hand corner click on save this will take me back into the mod merge tool and it's at the bottom left hand corner it said mod successfully merged. So those two files are successfully merged so what I want to do is just exit out, exit out, go back into my mod file folder and I see three files. The two files that I wanted to combine and the combined file. Now what you want to do is you know you don't need these two files anymore so just go ahead and delete those files out of your mod folder and then just you'll have this this one file that you created or combined and what you want to do is just apply it in game and there it is and you go to trailer browser and then your